The fascinating life of a housefly, a tiny but complex existence with common housefly musca domestica is often dismissed as a mere nuisance, buzzing around kitchens and garbage bins. Yet, behind its seemingly simple existence lies a complex and fascinating life cycle, remarkable adaptability, and surprising intelligence. From birth to death, the housefly leads a fast-paced, opportunistic life shaped by survival instincts and environmental interactions. 1. The birth of a housefly. A speedy start a housefly's life begins as a tiny egg, barely visible to the naked eye. A female housefly can lay up to 500 eggs in her lifetime, depositing them in batches of 75150 at a time. She prefers warm, moist, and decaying organic matter such as rotting food, animal waste, or compost where her offspring will have an immediate food source upon hatching. Within 8 minus 24 hours, the eggs hatch into maggots larvae. These legless, cream-colored creatures immediately begin feeding on the decaying material around them. The larval stage lasts 4 minus 7 days, during which the maggots molt three times, growing rapidly before seeking a dry, cool place to pupate. 2. Metamorphosis The pupil stage is fully grown. The maggot transforms into a pupa, encasing itself in a reddish-brown, barrel-shaped shell called a puparium. Inside, a dramatic transformation occurs the maggot's body dissolves into a soupy substance, reorganizing into the adult fly's body structure. This stage lasts 3 minus 6 days, depending on temperature and humidity. When the adult fly is ready to emerge, it uses a specialized tolinum, a fluid-filled sac on its head to break open the pupil case. The newly emerged fly is pale and soft, with crumpled wings. Within an hour, its exoskeleton hardens, and its wings expand, allowing it to take flight. 3. The adult housefly, a master of servavail an adult housefly lives for about 15 minus 30 days, though some may survive longer in optimal conditions. During this time, it exhibits remarkable behaviors that ensure its survival. A feeding habits, sponges and vomit house fleas lack teeth instead, they have a sponging mouth part proboscis designed to liquefy food. They regurgitate digestive enzymes onto solid food, dissolving it before sucking it back up. This is why FLIs often vomit on food before eating a habit that also spreads bacteria. FLIs are opportunistic feeders, consuming everything from sugary substances and decaying matter to animal secretions and human food. Their taste receptors are located on their feet, allowing them to detect food the moment they land. Be flight and agility. Aerial acrobats flies are among the most agile flyers in the insect world. They can beat their wings 200 times per second change direction mid-flight in less than 30 millisecond flee at speeds of up to 5 miles per hour 8 km per hour. Their halter's modified hind wings act as gyroscopes, helping them maintain balance during rapid maneuvers a key reason they are so hard to swap. See sensory superpowers compound and eyes, a house flies for oophacid eyes provide a near 360 degree field of vision, detecting movement with incredible precision. Hair-like sensors. Tiny hairs on their bodies sense air currents, helping them evade threats. Rapid reflexes, their nervous system processes danger signals 100 times faster than a human's, allowing instant escape reactions. D reproduction. A race against time within 2 minus 3 days of emerging, a female housefly mates. Males perform courtship dances, vibrating their wings to attract females. After mating, the female stores sperm and can lay multiple batches of eggs without needing to mate again. 4. The houseflies role in nature and human life that despite their bad reputation, houseflies play a crucial ecological role. Decomposers. They break down organic waste, recycling nutrients back into the ecosystem. Food source, they serve as prey for birds, spiders, and other insects. However, their habit of landing on feces and rotting matter before touching human food makes them disease vectors. They can transmit salmonella, coli, cholera, typhoid 5. The end of a fly's life most house flies die from predation, starvation, or cold weather. Some are killed by parasitic wasps or fungal infections. In captivity, they may live slightly longer. But in the wild, their lives are short and intense. Conclusion A tiny but mighty creature eth housefly's life is a testament to nature's efficiency, fast reproduction, rapid growth, and incredible adaptability. While they may be pests to humans, their survival strategies and biological traits are nothing short of extraordinary. Next time you see a housefly buzzing around, remember, in just a few weeks, it has lived a life full of danger, speed, and instinctual brilliance.